And this look, I'll be doing a purple, pink, and gray smoky eye using the Bare Minerals Dream Sequence Quad, along with a few other colors. If this is a look that interests you, please stay tuned. First, I'm going to take my primer and apply everywhere that I'm applying eyeshadow. First, I'm going to take my crease color. I'm using a 224 by MAC in Bare Minerals Florette Blush. It looks like this is a really nice pink. This came in the Trend Report set, and I think it's still available, so check that out. And I'm going to just take this and sweep through my crease. It has golden shimmer in it, if you can see it on this side. I'm sweeping it right above my crease as my buffer color. For half of my lid, I'm taking a Press Ski by MAC. This is from the MAC Chill Collection. If you don't own this, just take any MAC gray that you have. I'm using a 242 by MAC. Right next to that, I'm taking Myth by Bare Minerals, which is a loose shadow. It's like a gray with purple flecks of shimmer, which will go perfectly with this look. I'm flipping my brush over. And I'm packing this right outside of that. For my outer V, I'm taking a 222 and Nightcap from my Dream, Sequ Dream Sequence palette. It's the darkest color in the palette. It's like a dark purple. If you don't own this, you should use Max Fig One. I'm applying this on my outer V. To darken that up even more, I'm taking Carbon by MAC. I'm going to go back and touch up my colors in my crease and everywhere else that needs it. As my brow highlight, I'm using the usual, my Medium Plus by MAC, along with a Kirkland brush. I'm applying some primer on my lower lash line. I'm using a 214 brush by MAC for the entire length of my lower lash line. I'm taking Carbon on the outside. I'm taking Nightcap inside of that. And then I'm taking Florette Blush inside of that. And then around the edges of everything, I'm going in with Bourjois, which is this color right here. In my waterline and tight line, I'm using Feline Cold Power. For my liner at the top, I'm using Onyx Liner Shadow by Bare Minerals with my liner sealer, Weather Everything by Bare Minerals as well. And then for my lashes, I'm wearing my new favorite. These are the Red Cherry number 38s. They look like this, very spiky and long. And then for mascara, I'm using Sexy Curves by Rimmel. And then I'm applying my Studio Sculpt Concealer in NW30. And once I'm done, I'll show you what else I use. I've already done my cheeks, even though I might need to add a little more color. I use the same color that I used in my crease. This is Florette Blush by Bare Minerals. I'm going to go back in with a little more. I'm going to skip a highlight because this kind of has a gold highlight in it already, so I don't really need any more shimmer on my face. You could apply a matte highlight if you want, but I'm going to skip that. For my lip liner, I'm using Staunchly Stylish Pro Longwear Lip Pencil by MAC. It's just a nude pink. For my lip gloss, I'm using Lola Buxom Lip Gloss by Bare Minerals. And it's just a nude gloss. A nude pink.
that's the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll zoom you in and show you the eyes, cheeks, and lips. My eyes. I'm blended right here. My cheeks and my lips. On my blog, I have a list of products that I use along with final pictures of the look. In the information box, I will also have a bunch of links and also a list of all the products that I used. And I will talk to all of you soon. Thanks for watching. Also in the information box, I will have a bunch of links and information and also a list of the products that I used. And I will talk to all of you soon. <sighs> On my blog, I have a list of the products in... In this look, I'll be doing a purple and gray smoky eye. Mm -mm.